Hello everyone, and thanks for joining us for part two of our Mixtender 2 webinar. My name is Chase McKnight, and I'm a channel marketing specialist for the Music Group Professional Division. In part two, we'll be going over some of the basic functionalities of Mixtender 2, as well as talk about the new lockout feature that has been added in Mixtender 2.1.1. Let's take a look at the functionality of Mixtender 2. For this, I've chosen to use the demo mode. When you select demo mode, you will need to choose what console you want to operate on. For this exercise, let's stick with the Pro 1. As you can see, the top portion displays our Pro 1's 40 inputs, 8 aux returns, 16 aux ends, eight matrices, our left-right mono masters, as well as access to our VCAs, pop groups, and graphic EQs. Let's begin by tapping on our inputs one through eight. This gives you a general overview of what's happening on our first eight inputs. You have channel fader control, mutes, solos, as well as channel metering, and metering for the compressors and gates. Over to the right, you can even change the fader's function, giving you access to your aux send contributions. Notice how the mute and solo now become on and pre. If you tap on the mini input display, you'll now have access to equalization, input delay, as well as panning. To get started EQing, simply turn on the EQ, select a frequency band, it begin boosting or cutting. You can even use multi-touch pinching gestures to widen or shorten the bandwidth. Double-click the EQ graph to enlarge the graph and double-click to return. You can also swipe over to name the input as well as change its color. The home button in the top left will take us back to our home page. Let's take a look at our aux sends. Here we have the same type of 8-channel overview as we did with our inputs. Notice how the aux sends EQ defaults to the graphic EQ. Double tap the EQ to enlarge. Use the bottom icon to scroll through the different bands. You'll see a small gear icon in the bottom right. This gives you added copy and paste functions, as well as zeroing each band back to zero. Next, we can take a look at the VCAs. Simply tap on the VCA mini display to expand the group. To add channels to the VCA, press the edit button. This expands, revealing all of our inputs. Tap on the mini displays to select each input. When done, press edit again. To see our VCAs, press the VCA mini display. It will now show you the inputs associated with that VCA. The pop groups work in the same way. Tap on edit, select the channels, and press edit again. Very easy to use. You can repeat the same steps to remove inputs from the group as well. Mixtender 2.1.1 now allows you to lock out certain parameters, which is particularly handy when you're sharing an iPad between band members and don't want to worry about them altering mixes other than their own. To do this, you'll need to exit Mixtender and proceed to Settings. Within Settings, scroll down on the left column and tap on Mixtender 2. Next, go to Preferences. Under Mix Bus Flip Lock, we can just enable lock or we can enable the safety locks as well for added protection. Then, simply exit out and reopen Mixtender. You'll now see that the bus contributions and channel detail area have now been locked and cannot be accessed. To unlock, just go back into Settings, Mixtender 2 Preferences, and disable the locks. That's the basic operation of Mixtender 2. Thanks for watching. Please check out MidasConsoles.com for more information. Thanks.